Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to create a brush stroke within Figma. So stick close and let's dive into it. So the first thing you need to notice is that there's no direct way of doing this within Figma. Okay, so you need to import these assets from outside. So I've got the pattern that I'd like to use as a brush stroke and I've got some brush strokes over here on the right hand side. Now you can go to a website such as FreePick and you can find vectors of brush strokes. So what you want to do is you want to select your image or your design of your brush stroke and on the right hand side you'll see download. Okay, so you'll see a few options. The first option you want to go and have a look for is the SVG. Now this is probably going to be the easiest. However, if there is no SVG available, what you want to do is download it and you can Google a SVG or a whatever format you're using to SVG converter. You should be able to do this relatively easy online. So once you have your SVG file, you can now import it into Figma and you can do so by clicking on this icon, going down to file, place image, and you'll find your SVG file on your device. Now, what we want to do is you can see here, we've got all of these brush strokes. So let's just select a brush stroke. Let's select this one here. We're going to click down and we're going to drag it over here. Okay. So we can just go bring to forward so we can see exactly what it looks like. Or we can click on this one and we can say send to back. So once you've got it in selection, you can now change its size. So if you want to keep its aspect ratio, you want to just click down on your shift key on your keyboard. Let's just do this. We can move it about. And this is more or less where we want it. So what you are going to do next, let's say that is about where we want it. All right. So what we're going to do next is we're going to right click and we're going to send to back. Now, this will allow us to see the pattern on the top side. OK, so let's just take this pattern and let's say bring to front. And this is what it looks like. Now, you're going to click down and you're going to select these two items. We're going to right click and we are going to click on use as mask. You can now see you've got your brush stroke. You can see now that you can use it pretty much anywhere you'd like. And if you go up here and you say create as a component, you can now continue to use this in all of your designs.